welcome back to a new video on my channel. My name is Glenn van der Beek. I'm a landscape photographer from Belgium and I make little videos about my little adventures in my little country. And today's adventure we start at Tour de Berenzen. Uh, I don't know if I pronounce it uh, correctly, but uh, it will have to do like this. So for my first picture, I'm shooting straight into the sun, but I'm putting the sun just out of frame. So it creates a little bit of a haze. I am using my 70 to 200 lens uh, to zoom a little bit into the landscape on this beautiful pathway that is leading us to the horizon of this picture. So the settings for this photo are 1 250th of a second ISO 400 and an F8. I'm using ISO 400 and 1 250th of a second because there is a lot of wind as you can hear and I do not want any uh, vibration in my image. I also am not using any lens hood on my lens because uh, when I do not use it, you have more of this haze that I want in this picture. It has been several uh, minutes and I have been shooting in every direction. And that's the great thing about these panoramic towers. You can shoot in every direction and every direction has its own specific light. Let me end uh, this part of the video uh, with the shots which I made with my 17mm wide angle lens. On my way back to the car, I saw this beautiful tree. I know I say beautiful a lot, but it's just magnificent. I saw this tree that is surrounded by ferns that are already turned brown. The leaves on the tree are also turning brown and this make, makes the scene uh, just come together. I have some beautiful backlight from the sun and uh, using, I'm also using my 17 millimeter tilt shift uh, to have a very wide angle view and I'm shooting from the bottom up into the tree. Uh, that's enough chit chat. Oh no, the settings are F4, 1 250th of a second and ISO 200. I'm using F4 just to have the, the foreground uh, a little bit out of focus so the tree gets all of the attention. You wouldn't say, but it's already 10 past 10. That means I have spent too much time on this location, but it was worth it. But I only hope that my second location is not already too crowded. So let's go.